Shalom, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. The more honest to the elders and apostles of great millstone and talking this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, I'll be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami Camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai has commanded. And this lesson is going to be entitled, Only Fans Model Failed Attempt to Obstruct the Lord's Men and My Testimony. Okay? Once again, the title for the lesson is Only Fans Model failed attempt to obstruct the Lord's men and my testimony. Now, I don't think that whole thing is going to fit into the YouTube. So, the my testimony part, I think I'm, I'm, that's why I'm saying it now so you would know. But it's just going to be only fans model failed attempt to obstruct the Lord's men. Okay? But I'm going to give my testimony. Alright? Uh, so, you have this, 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 this IG supposedly influencer. <laughs> okay? Uh, think she go by the name of uh, Kayla baby all right um, she walk up to the camp the men of the Lord okay and um, the brothers wasn't entertaining her okay so her her failed attempt to seduce the men of the Lord all right was a complete failure and she wasn't paid no attention okay and um, clearly she didn't know all right where she was walking up to okay everything they have in this world for a game when it's not a game she came among the lord's men okay now my testimony is about approximately one month ago all right i was coming right here with the brothers at the same spot okay coming out to the camp and i was pressing gas like benjamin say like pressing gas no brakes Walking real fast, almost like I'm running, but I was walking, but I was moving real fast. All right, and I saw her and her team. All right, the camera crew, everybody with the microphones and all this stuff, and they tried to flag me down, but I wouldn't stop to them. I entertained them. I kept moving. I kept going. You know, I kept going. Lo and behold, just like how you when you see in this video how she moving with speed, <laughs> she ran me down when I, I had my face. Uh, head turned going toward where I'm going when I looked she ran up on me she was on the side of me and then I seen the mic came out she put a mic to my face and I'm still walking and I ain't paying no attention and she said guess what she said out of all things alright she could have said in this world you know what she said what's the size of your rod you know not to get graphic just you know she said what's the size of your rod I'm like what the I'm like with all this all what is going on in the world and in the earth today and on the planet okay the world is falling apart, and I'm like, this is what, what you out here doing? This is you have to run me down, try to flag me down, to put a microphone to my face to come and ask me a question like that? I was like, I entertained y'all. I, I just kept walking, kept going. She see she couldn't get an answer out of me, so I kept going. <clears throat> and I already know, Salakia, you know, I, I already know, I'm like, she have this microphone, she have some kind of website or some kind of online, whatever thing she have going on. Right? And then lo and behold, look, she walked up to the camp, came to the actual camp spot because where I, where I saw them, they was further down. They was further down, like about maybe 10 minutes walking distance of the opposite way. But lo and behold, she actually came to the camp this time, okay? And um, she came with a, 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 a bag of folly, man. Okay, so that's my testimony. She ran up on me, tried to flag me down. I wasn't entertaining them, but just to ask me the size of my rod. Okay, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, it's too much going on in this world for y'all to be out here with all of this folly, man. But this is the spirit that's in the earth. Okay, the, these spirits, they, they dealing with pure corruption. But um, not to make this video too long, let's just try and get to the video. Okay, uh, I'm going to play the video. We're going to get some precepts. And before the end of this video, Lord, wouldn't you be edified? So let's uh, see what it do. Oh, this this keep happening. This 
this just keep happening. So like it. every time I try to uh, uh, bear with me here. Let me try to get the video real quick. All right, here we go. Let me, let me play it from here. A big failed attempt. Yeah, it, it it was just a a a big a big failure, man. Okay, her attempt was a big a big failure. Okay, that's why I titled the lesson "Only Fans Model Failed Attempt to Obstruct the Lord's Men" and my testimony. Okay, it didn't work. Okay, but she ain't considering that she's gonna have to pay for what she did. You know, um, real quick, let's get the book of First uh, Samuel chapter two. And verse three, okay, and this is coming. This is coming from a woman, all right. This is this is this is this is Hannah, okay, when she prayed, all right. It says, uh, First Samuel chapter two and verse three. It says, take. It says, talk no more, so exceeding proudly. See, that's what she was doing. She was being very proud, okay. It says. Let not arrogancy come out of, of your mouth. She's being arrogant. It says, for the Lord is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Right, and by him actions are weighed. The Lord is a just uh, balanced power, man. Okay? The things that you do is weighed in the balance, man. All right? By him actions are weighed. Okay, the scripture speaks about... Uh, Matthew, let's go to it. Matthew, uh, the 12th chapter. All right? It's Matthew chapter 12 and verse 36. Okay? It says, But I say, this is our Lord, this is Yahweh Shai, but I say unto you that every idle word, all right? The things that she was saying before the man of the Lord, they were just idle words, man. And what did the Lord say? But I say unto you, this is red letter, our Lord speaking. Yahweh Shai, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, okay, men is a representation of men and women, mankind, okay, all right, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. So in the day of judgment, she's going to have to give an account for that, man. Verse 37, it says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And clearly, you can see she came before the man of the Lord and she was dealing with pure folly, man. Okay? She came up to the church, to the house of God, before the camp. All right? Where the man of the Lord stood. Okay? All right? Doing the work of the Lord, man. And she came there with her folly. You see? Let's get Ecclesiastes. Okay? The book of Ecclesiastes, the fifth chapter. And the first verse, it says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Okay? You got to be humbled. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. She didn't know where she was. Showing you the, 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 the mindset of the people. All right? She didn't have a care in the world for what's going on around her. She came up to the man of the Lord. She didn't even know she was basically standing in the lion's den. Okay? <laughs> she, she, she didn't even know, man. Okay? It says, verse 2, Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For Yahweh is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few, 
What she should have did is inquire of anything that she wanted to know in this life because the Holy Scriptures cover everything in this world. Okay? So, at the end of the day, she went off, man. Okay? But I perceive her to be an Edomite, so that's what Edomites do. <laughs> All right? They built that way. Okay? <clears throat> and if she's not an Edomite, there is still judgment. Okay? There is still judgment because she was speaking idle words. Okay? Um, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8. Salakia, chapter 11, and verse 8. It says, um, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Hold on. Bear with me here. Bear with me here. So I see something. One of these, uh, hold up. I'm not seeing. I'm wondering if I write down this precept. Bear with me here one second. I had a precept here. <clears throat> All right, I'll go to the. I'll go to the other ones. I'll go to the other ones because clearly. She didn't understand where she was. Uh, let's get Job. I'll move on from that one. Lord willing to come back to me. I think I wrote it down. Might have wrote down the wrong book. Uh, precept I was trying to get. But let's get uh, Job 39. Lord willing that precept come back. Uh, let's get uh, Job 39. And verse 17. It says, Because... The Most High deprived her of wisdom. Neither had he imparted to her understanding. You see? She, she, she was being proud, man. Okay? She was being proud and she was keeping up folly. She's being proud and keeping up folly, man. All right? Let's get... um. Proverbs, Proverbs, uh, Proverbs chapter 9, Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13, it says, a foolish woman is clamorous, she is simple and knoweth nothing, all right, she was just being clamorous, all she was doing is keeping up pure folly, that's all she was doing, she just was keeping up pure folly, man, okay, That's what she was doing. Let's get uh, let's get that in the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter ten and verse six, and it says, "Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place." In this world, folly is set in great dignity, man. Okay, that's how it is. Folly is set in great dignity, man. You see, these people, they extol folly to the cloud of all the things and questions which she could have been asking. You see the type of questions she was asking, man? Will you date an OF girl, an OnlyFans girl? Let's get, uh, let's get 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse uh, 6. It says, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Okay? But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. So you can see how she living, man. All right? She dead from the neck up, man. Okay? She keeping up pure, <clears throat> pure folly. Okay? And that's why, 
the people, they must have forgot what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Okay? So the scripture speaks about just a lot. Vex with the filthy conversation. Let's get that. Okay? Let's get that. Um, this is the book of... Uh, <clears throat> Second uh, Peter's chapter two. Second Peter's chapter two. Uh, verse six. I'm gonna start at verse six. It says, "On turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked." You see, for that for that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Man, the things was coming out of that 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 cheetah might mouth. Man, she was just going off, man. Okay, but but she she tried, all right. She tried to disrupt, all right, the men of the law, but it didn't work. It didn't work. Her failed attempt to obstruct the Lord's men, it didn't work. And the brothers the brothers handled the situation uh, 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 real real good, man. And, and wisdom, the brothers apply wisdom, man. Okay? The brothers is on point and on, 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 on the A game. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's get some scriptures on that. All right, let's go to, uh, let's go to Proverbs. All right? Uh, because the brothers was letting them know they ain't on that, man. You know? The brother Z was letting them know. You know? Sakaria. Most of the brothers were letting them know. Awar was letting them know. Gabar was letting them know. The brothers was telling them, man. Telling her, Salakia. Telling her. We, we ain't entertaining that, man. All right? This is our Proverbs chapter 26. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 4. <clears throat> It says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto them. So the brothers, the brothers living in entertain her in no kind of way. None. Zero. Okay? Nil. She ain't got entertained in no kind of way. Proverbs 26 and 4. Answer not a fool according to his folly or her folly. All right? Least thou also be like unto them. So the brothers know the scriptures. The brothers apply wisdom. The brothers saying he wasn't dealing with her, man. Because she was she was just spewing foolery. You see? Buffoonery. Let's get another one. Uh, stay in the book of Proverbs. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 14 and verse uh, 7. Okay? And this is why the brother, the brother keep telling her to to to, to go up the street, man. He, he, her crew was there, and they was telling the brother uh, Zakaria was telling them, "This your people, get her, man. Go up the street." Proverbs verse seven and verse Proverbs chapter fourteen verse seven it says, "Go from the presence of a foolish man or woman, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge." She was pure and pure folly, man. So the brother told her, her people to, 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 to get her, man. Take her up the street. You know? This is the house of the Lord. We're doing the Lord's work. Go somewhere with somewhere else, man. Go from the presence of a foolish man or woman when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge, man. You see? Them brothers applied wisdom and they dealt with it uh, 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 diligently, man. Okay? Them brothers was on the A game. Okay, uh, let's get a, uh, and the reason why the brothers is on the A game, because the scripture speaks about uh, giving all diligence, man. Okay, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter uh, 1 and verse 10, it says, Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So the brothers wasn't paying no attention. The brothers was given diligence, man. Okay? Let's go into this word diligence real quick. Okay? Let's go into this word diligence real quick. 
this is diligence in the uh, online etymology. It says uh, constant. It says constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. See? Attention, care. The brothers wasn't giving her no attention. They was paying attention to what they do in the Lord's work. All right? It says constant and earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. This work, the work of the Lord, man. Brothers wasn't paying no mind. Okay? Let's get it in uh Let's get it in the blue letter. Diligence. And the blue letter. All right? Because the brothers is being diligent, man. They they about about brothers is being about the Lord's business, man. They wasn't giving her the time of the day. Alright? This is uh diligence in the Greek. Alright? It says to haste, to hasten, make haste, to exhort oneself, endeavor, give diligence. Alright? Uh Strong's G forty seven zero four. It says, uh, do diligence, be diligent, give diligence, be forward, labor, study. All right? Brothers, study, and brothers don't have time to entertain that kind of stuff, man. Okay? Brothers, laboring, man, toiling. Okay? Be prompt. You see? That's what this thing is about. Brothers keeping their eyes single, man. That's 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 what the scripture said to do to, to keep your eye on the prize, keep your eye single. So she couldn't she couldn't broke she couldn't break nor shake the focus, man. Her uh, her failed attempt to obstruct the Lord's men, it it, it, it it didn't work, man. Uh, I'm gonna get two more. We're gonna close out. You know, this is Matthew chapter six and verse uh, ten. Salaki verse twenty two. Jumping down verse twenty two. It says, the light of the body is the eye, okay? If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Right, the brothers have their mind on the prize, man. The brothers were focused. She couldn't break, cut, sever, all right? Obstruct, disrupt. She tried to disrupt, but it, it, it didn't work. But the brothers, all right, were shining their light, man, all right? They kept their eyes single. They kept their eyes on the prize. You see? And the reason why they did that is because the Lord say to let no man take thy crown. She she, she tried to disrupt, right? Or obstruct what was going on. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it didn't work. Okay? Um, and, and, and in most cases... It's not going to work because the Lord tell you that the, the gates of not the gates of hell is not going to prevail, man. All right. As a matter of fact, I'll get that scripture. Bro. Lord will I end with that? This is uh, Revelation chapter three, verse eleven. It says, "Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown." See, that's what brothers focus on. Brothers focus on not, not letting anybody take their crown. Because your your main priority should be uh, uh, salvation, man. Okay? Verse 12 says, Him that overcome will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name, he that hath he that had an heir, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. Okay? Yeah. So, at the end of the day, there is nothing to stop the, the, the movement of, of the Lord, man. Because the scriptures tell you, right, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Let me get this one first. Let me get this one first, and then I'm going to get it. Lord willing, let me get it. Uh, uh, let me get this one, and I'm going to get the other one that comes to mind, and then we're going to end it. All right? Because uh, something the Lord said here. Let's see if I could uh, if I could grab this one real quick, and then we're gonna grab another one, and then we can close it out. Right there, you go. Matthew chapter sixteen, right? Matthew chapter sixteen. I started eighteen. It says um. 
And I say this is the Lord speaking to Peter. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell ain't going to prevail against this church, man. It says, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose in earth, on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Okay? So the gates of hell is not going to prevail. All right? Now, the other scripture that I was speaking of uh, that come to mind is this scripture. All right? Because this is, this is of the Lord. This is not of men. All right? The words of the Lord is of him. We, we just passing the message. We just speaking his words. So you cannot overthrow it. All right? The book of Acts. Acts, the fifth chapter. All right? Round about the 39th verse. All right? I get straight to the point. This is Gamaliel when he was speaking to a, a crowd of people about the apostles. Right? I'm going to just get straight to the point. Verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, which men? The men of the Lord. And let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it. Least happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. At the end of the day, we speak His words. So you're not, you're not coming up against uh, us. You're coming up against the Most High. And that's a battle that you could never win. So I'm going to end it there, Lord willing, you were edified, giving our honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. To the honors to the elders and the apostles of great men, still to talk me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity. We skin their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next one, Shalom.